water problems that we're beginning to experience in the United States. But, Gerald, the water in the United States isn't what it used to be in many cases. Isn't that correct? And they're having a hard time growing food because of that with the proper nutrients in it. It's not just the soil. It's becoming the water also, right? It's the water. It's the soil. It's the pollutants. I mean, could you imagine they, they wheel out these white coat, quote, scientists that are paid off by the, by the chemical industry to tell you that, you know, all these chemicals in the water, as they just, they just saw another study just, just came out about all of them in the water, that they don't affect your health. What kind of imbecile would believe that? And yes, the nutrients are low and the people's immune systems are breaking down. One of our forecasts is for a new black plague. We're going to say, and it's not the swine flu, that was just the cash cow for the pharmaceutical industry. It's going to be much worse than that. It's going to be immune system breakdown at very high levels. As you aptly mentioned, the nutrients in the food are being washed away with a chemical bath that is deadly as a nuclear blast. So those are the kind of things that people have to be prepared for. You buy local, buy organic when you can. And, of course, even local doesn't mean it's clean food, but clean food is the way to go. And I'm a believer in whole health healing. Matter of fact, uh, I have a honorary doctorate degree from the National University of Health Sciences for my many years of work in complementary medicine. So that's the kind of things to think about. You think for yourself and you heal yourself. When you talk about the problems with water, Gerald, and the pollutants and the chemicals that are in the water, that's a very real, very serious problem. Can we just look at that for a minute? Because people need to make sure that they have the proper water filtration systems in their home for their drinking water, don't they? We do. and We have them in our home and in our offices. We have very, very top of the line water filter systems. Are those reverse osmosis? Yes, they are. Okay. You know, that pulls everything out of the water. Literally everything. They could dump cyanide in there, and it won't be making it into your water, Gerald. And those are the kind of things you put your money where your mouth is, both in what you eat and what you drink, and, by the way, in what you think. That's what people really need to do. They have to start becoming more aware of what's going on. Let go of your ideology. This isn't a time for dogma or or rigid beliefs. It's a time for flexibility, to look for new opportunities, new ways and new thinking. Gerald, it wouldn't be an interview with the two of us if we didn't cover some of the corruption. So let me ask you about Goldman and Greece, because that situation is so despicable that this company, Goldman Sachs, this part of the banking syndicate, right, goes in and hawks these swabs. And we don't have proof of this yet, but it appears there wasn't full disclosure of the cookbooks, which they're being accused of being aware of. And meanwhile... Is it them and their cronies on the other side of the trade taking the country down when the bad news comes out? Are they the first ones to feed off of the carcass when things go bad? Why are you saying Goldman and Greece? You should leave the CE off it and put a D. Goldman and Greed, <clears throat> whether it's Greece, whether it's AIG, you name it, you know, Goldman's at the bottom of it or at the top of it. We wrote a press release, or, or excuse me, a trend alert back in 2008 in September, and the headline read, Wall Street hijacks Washington. And what it is is the Goldman Sachs gang is running the show. Do people need any more proof than just to look at who they are and the positions in government that they hold? From Henry Paulson, the, the U.S. Treasury Secretary under George W. Bush, to uh, before him, was uh, who was that? Uh, oh, Robert Rubin under Clinton, U.S. Treasury Secretary. <clears throat> what was he? A co-chair of Goldman Sachs. And who was the chief of staff for the current uh, U.S. Treasury Secretary Geithner, who himself is a uh, you know member of the Federal Reserve, the former president of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Uh, who who's this guy? Where is he from? The, his chief of staff? Could it be Goldman Sachs? Who's the head of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission? It couldn't be a guy from Goldman Sachs, could it? And when you look across the globe, whether it's Canada, Italy, EU, you name it, there's Goldman Sachs fingerprints, Goldman Sachs front men that are all over the world. Wall Street has hijacked Washington. It's as clear and simple as that. These are only details we're talking about with Greece. It's, you name the game, they're playing it.
This was Joseph Stiglitz's comments about the Federal Reserve. If we had seen a governance structure that corresponds to our Federal Reserve system, we would have been yelling and screaming and saying that this country does not deserve any assistance. This is a corrupt governing structure. So these are the guys who appointed the guy who bailed them out. Is that a conflict of interest? They would say, no conflict of interest. We were just doing our job. But you have to look at the conflicts of interest. The reason you talk about governance is because in a democracy, you want people to have confidence. This is a structure that will undermine confidence in a democracy, end quote. When you hear Joseph Stiglitz's comments, what comes to mind for you, Gerald? Well, first of all, you know, this is old news. And second of all, it's not a democracy, it's a plutocracy. We just got finished talking about who's running the show and what's going on. Eric, I've narrowed it down to six simple words that explains everything. Princeton, Harvard, Yale, bullets, bombs, and banks. There's nothing else to be said. Gerald Salente, founder and director of the Trends Research Institute, author of Trends 2000 and Trend Tracking, and publisher of the Trends Journal. Thank you so much for joining us on King World News. Hey, thank you, Eric. Always great being on your show. Thank you for joining us on King World News. Remember each day to go to our KWN Daily Webs for videos and articles from around the world.